Hello YouTube. Warning, this is probably going to be a long video, but I'm going to be gabbing, talking about stuff, and, you know, um, engine companies, where they're going, uh, my stuff, stuff like that. It's going to be a vlog of sorts. Um, so I don't know if you guys heard or not, uh, like, in the past uh, video, uh, probably either before or after this video, probably post this video up first. Um, but Tecumseh went out of business. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. But yeah, Tecumseh has gone out of business. But guess what they're going into? This is what they're going to start making. They're going to start making fridges. Fridges, refrigeration systems, and ACs for your home. Now, if um, Tecumseh refrigerators and AC units and so on and so forth are anything like their engines, they're going to be junk. <laughs> and honestly, I am not going to buy a, re a Tecumseh refrigerator or anything like that unless they prove to be something so amazing that everybody wants one. Highly doubt it. <laughs> Uh, but if they prove to be something like that, then maybe I'll get one. But I'll let them, I'll let them be around for a few years before I decide what I want to do with that. Um, but yeah, that's not going to go over well. And actually, somebody bought out um, Tecumseh. They bought out the company and all the engine plans, um, so on and so forth. Um, the Tecumseh is still Tecumseh, but they've given up on engines. Hallelujah. But somebody else has picked up their engines, and that's they're going to start making engines now. Um, why would you want to pick up Tecumseh and start making engines? I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess there's a lot of suckers out there that still don't know that Tecumseh's a piece of crap. Um, if somebody's watching this and you guys like Tecumseh, eh. Uh, it, it's, all in the eye, it's all in the eye of the beholder, you know. It's... It's what whoever likes, and you could have something so horribly ugly and have somebody absolutely love it, like a rat rod. You could have somebody say, oh, that is the most awesome rat rods in the world. I love rat rods. Some people look at them and say, why would you be driving that? That thing's a piece of crap, and it's rusted, you know, or, you know, something like that. You know, it's all in the eye of the beholder. So, um, but... They're going to be starting to build engines. I believe their name that they're going to be putting on the engines starts with an S or something. It's that I heard that they're going to start making manufacturing engines sometime in February, um, and I'm hoping that they will start manufacturing engines and start putting engines on some of these mowers. But I hope Briggs and Stratton picks up their game again because Briggs and Stratton kind of got lax after Tecumseh went out of business because they started building um, cheaper engines. I hope this new company that's going to be making engines is going to make Briggs and Stratton kind of tighten up and start building good engines again, you know, because the way they're going, I mean, their their top end engines are good, you know, they're they run, they work great, but their low end engine low end engines like the ones at Walmart, I'd rather get poked with a sharp stick than buy one of those things. Um, I'll take one for free. If anyone's got one for free, I'll take one for free, but I won't buy one. Not for $200 for one of those junk engines. Um, those junk engines are based off of the old 3.2 Breeze and Stratton's. You know, the old ones with the, the chokematic carbs. Those are great. I like those. Those are fine to me. Just these new ones are <laughs> junky. Anyways, um, but if I was this company that picked up Tecumseh, I would scrap all of the engine plans and start fresh. Start somewhere new to where you're not working off of all these plans that failed again and again and Tecumseh never did anything about it, you know. Um, that's just not a really smart idea if you bought a company out like that. <laughs> I just personally wouldn't. Um, anyways, enough about that. Um, I never really did a, um, an in, in shed video before about my shed. 
Um, I just got stuff down here, you know, just the regular um, box of crap. And oh gosh, um, yeah, sit down, grunt like an old man. Oh, well, I got your tubes, your lamps, your top to a Honda. Pretty much anything you can think of. You got your little portable stereo. Yeah, there's my. I believe it's a World War II. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's a World War II. Um, Briggs and Stratton. I believe that's what that is. Uh, it's that old six um, six volt charger, from what I've looked over and seen. Um, I. All right. Two days later, I gotta finish this video. Um, I can't remember what I, what I was talking about that about, but it's. Um, I think I was talking about. I don't know. Can't remember. Anyway, so I guess I'll kind of start over. Um, the carburetor's in great shape. Um, the rings need to be replaced. Uh, it's six volt charger. I, I mean, that's what I'm guessing, anyways. That's I don't know much about its or origins, you know. This and that sort of thing. It's a real nice old. Br I think, believe it's Briggs. Um, looking at it, it looks like a Briggs. Looks like an, uh, an L a model uh, N maybe, N or B. I've been told either or. So um, if you know otherwise, let me know. Um, I think I was talking about that actually when I battery died. I'm not sure. Got my tiller in here, my easy hoe, my mantis tiller. <laughs> this, this is a, an upcoming thing. I've had that since it was brand new. Um, these things, these things work much better than these uh, knockoff brands. They, those just bite the ground like nothing else. They just work flawlessly. Except I've, over the years, I've parted it out. It's missing some parts of the carburetor. Um, I regret doing that, but you know it's it happens. Um, got your readers back there. Still got to get that old McClawlock going. There's that McClawlock, that McClawlock. There's a NTD Yardman, a 31 cc uh, engine on it. Got my push mower. I never made a video about. The blades are all uh, adjusted on it, so it cuts really fine. There's my Cub Cadet SR621. I still got to pull it apart and put new rings in it. Um, I don't know why I'm having problems with getting these bigger projects started, like rebuilding this one. I think the reason being is I don't really have the money to just throw into a project, you know. Well, I do. I take that back. I do have the money to just throw it into a project, it's, except I guess there's really no need for this right now. I think that's why I'm not really looking into getting it done so quickly, is there's really no need for it right now. But there there soon will be, because uh, summer's coming, and I'm probably going to sell this. It's in great shape, other than that right there. That's the only part on this whole mower that is not in great shape. <laughs> But the bag, the rest of the bag's in great shape. Just everything, plastics, just everything's in great shape on this. There's my pot belly stove. I still yet to have to uh, install it. God, I'm gonna go down to a muffler shop or something like that. Let's see, there's the inside. I burned a few things in it. Not inside my shed because there's no chimney on it. I've got to cut the top open, real nice and big. And we're on a chimney. I'm probably gonna put probably gonna put that either right where it's sitting, right here, so it goes up and out, around here somewhere, over here, or over here. I might put it there. Um, there's trees above. There's a big tree above me. As you can see up there, there's a big tree up there. So as long as I can clear the tree and the bushes. And get that high enough. I might put it off on the front front end here. Then, in that case, um, my uh, trimmer, my sidewalk trimmer, or whatever the heck you want to call it, edger. There you go, edger. 
I haven't started it in a while. I know it should still run though. There's my leaf blower. Um, it's just, I guess this is a random video. This video is going to be going up before the video of my Yamoto, uh, which is no longer here. Um, yeah, there's my IDC string trimmer. That one's going to my dad probably. There's my uh, leaf blower. <laughs> I call that one old smoky. Here's a hydrostatic Honda. I have not done a yet. I have not yet done a video about this Honda. Um, the guy that gave this to me, I'm fixing this for. Now that's not my full payment. He just wants to pay a little bit of um, labor for this because the labor on this is going to be quite a bit. Um, I've allowed him um, 200 bucks for this. Um, you might be thinking that's a little much, but this is a nice Honda. You know, it's got your your um, blade control and your drive. It just it'll sit in idle. Um, you got your your choke and your uh, hydrostatic uh, position. How fast do you want to go? Um, currently, there's no carb on it, as you can see. Um, it came to me this way. He's got all the parts for it. I've got the carburetor and all the more expensive pieces. He just he has the blades and um, clutch cover and stuff like that for the bottom end of it. He said once I get it done, he'll bring over all the parts. Um, to I'm just super stressed, YouTube. I need to get this gone. I need to get the go kart gone. Yeah, I still have that giant go kart still sitting in uh, in a garage. I think I finally know what's wrong with that. I need to get this gone and I'm out of money I have no money to repair anything not right now because all of it has gone into these few projects for other people um, they're fully gonna fully reimburse me yeah but there it's <laughs> it's a matter of getting it done and out of here once it's done I'll have all that money you know uh, the Honda the Honda snowblower I've got I think about a hundred bucks into that right now. That's minus labor. Uh, with labor, probably two hundred, two three hundred dollars you'd have to to pay. And you might be thinking, "Holy crap, that's a lot of money!" But I've put a lot of hours into it. I've given them a lot of free hours too, just to be nice. Um, I guess those free hours, you could say, it would be for the lawnmower. <laughs> um, I got to get this out of here. I've got. 50 bucks into it. That's mine. That's my, that's my new toy. Except that there's no snow. It's warm today. I wish it would get super cold and snow like mad. One year we had uh, record breaking snow. I wish we'd do that again. Whoa, what is going on here? I'm going to pull this muffler off today then. I'm going to pull that off and paint it. I've got some high temp paint I could do that with. I need to actually. I need to keep this under cover. That's what I need to do. Oh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, my head's just not on my shoulders. I'm not.